Hello and Buenos Dias. We're working on the 196cc diesel engine again today. And as you know, they don't make a whole lot of aftermarket parts for this engine. Actually, not at all. So, something I've wondered myself, and I've been asked a few times, is if any of the clone or predator aftermarket parts will fit on this 196cc diesel. Now, of course the internals are gonna be nowhere near the same, but we're gonna see if any of the basic bolt-ons like intake and exhaust will fit. So, we've got all kinds of stuff here. We've got Tecumseh and Briggs exhaust. We've got Predator exhaust and clone exhaust. We've got Predator intake adapters. We've got Makuni carb adapters and all kinds of air filters. And we're gonna see if these things will fit on here. I have a pretty good idea that they will. All right, so let's get the intake off. So we've got the intake here for the diesel and this is a Predator 212 or Tillotson 212 or similar clone engine filter adapter. And if we compare the bolt holes for the two, let's see, let's line these up. You can see in there the exact same bolt pattern. So any of the filter adapters for the two and two engines will fit this diesel engine. But one issue is you can't get the adapter on because the side cover is in the way. So you could either trim out the side cover and I've looked behind it already. Uh, there's nothing that's in the way that would prevent you from trimming that. It would just expose the flywheel to a little extra debris. Um, you could tr maybe try to beat it in with a hammer or uh, just cut it and find another way to sell off that flywheel. Uh, but if you can get the space open, this will fit. So another option is to take a intake manifold for an aftermarket intake manifold for a Predator 2 and 2 and put it on here to space the adapter a little farther from the head. Another option is to get a Makuni carburetor adapter like this. You can get these off of eBay for pretty cheap, usually a lot cheaper than you can get an aftermarket intake manifold for a Predator. And um, you can modify it a little bit and make it work as an intake manifold. So it has two flanges. You got your small flange and your larger flange. The bolt patterns are slightly different. Uh, these are a little wider than this side. Now this is the side that will match your head and also your filter adapter. And what you have to do to make this work is, is you have to make this larger side match the smaller side. And all you have to do is notch you out a, a little bit of material off the inside edges here and you'll, and that'll let you bolt up your filter adapter or bolt it to the head whichever way you're turning it so i've already got one that i've modified i took this off of my nitrous predator two and two that's why we got the little a and fit in there but as you can see we got our small flange that bolted directly up to our filter adapter and all i did was notched out some little spots here to make this flange match the bolt pattern of the head or the filter adapter so we're going to bolt this on just to, to prove that this works okay. so we're getting the intake on and as you can see i had to use some allen head bolts just so we had enough clearance and in all honesty this back bolt here is really tough to get to but we're going to make it work it is on and we can put our filter on as you can see, there is some clearance issue with the pull start, at least with this big filter. Let's try an angled filter that's a little smaller. And of course, and of course they do make angled Makuni carburetor adapters. I have one in the house somewhere, I just couldn't find it, that would pull the filter back this way. 
but let's see if an angle filter makes any difference. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's plenty of room. It's tight, but it'll work. Next is the exhaust. We've got this super sweet exhaust stack on here, but say if you don't like that, we're gonna see if these other exhausts fit. So this is the factory exhaust flange. Um, all I did was actually cut the muffler off and weld it on this piece of this piece of three inch exhaust and just put a tractor flap on it. But we're gonna see how it matches up to the Predator and Tecumseh and Briggs exhaust flanges. We've got our diesel flange here and this uh, Predator 2 and 2 flange and let's put them together and compare them. And you can see they are pretty close to being the same. Now I am gonna have to, looks like, take a little bit off on the inside to make this work, but I think we can get that to work. I just shaved down just a little bit off the inside of the uh, bolt holes and I'm sure you saw some exhaust smoke coming out from around the flange there. That's not because it's not uh, fitting properly. That's just because I didn't put an exhaust gasket on there because I'm trying out a couple different exhausts. But as you can see, any Predator 212 uh, clone or similar 212 engine exhaust will fit on this 196cc diesel engine with just a slight bit of modification to the bolt holes. Okay, next is the Briggs or Tecumseh style flange and this one is going to be a little more tricky. So the holes are pretty close to matching. You can see daylight on both sides, but as you can see the holes but as you can see, the bolt holes are quite a bit smaller. So I'm gonna to try to drill them out and see if we can get this to fit. It looks like it could fit, but we may be thinning out the side of this flange quite a bit uh, to where you'll, it'll just be kinda, not quite paper thin, but pretty thin. We'll see if we can drill out those holes and see if we can make it work. Uh, this one would be probably the less ideal option, but might be something if you can use if uh, you've got some old Briggs or Tecumseh stuff laying around. So it's not not a perfect job, but see how it drilled out and expanded the bolt holes. Looks like we got enough material there to hold it just fine. And 
let's get this thing bolted up. So this is somewhat of a tight fit with the bolts up against the tubing, but it still fits. And this again is the Tecumseh or Briggs exhaust flange. And again, I am not using an exhaust gasket, so you may see some smoke come out at the flange, but it's not because of fitment, it's just because I don't have a gasket in there. <laughs> 